Thanks for joining us for another Saturday Cinema. Today, we are talking about The Wizard of Oz, the 1939 classic. It was developed from a book written by Frank Baum, published in the 1900s, The Wizard of Oz. The little known fact is the reason why The Wizard of Oz is widely regarded as the first color movie is because of the effect it had on the industry. However, color films had dated back a decade before it was introduced here as Dorothy stepped through the land to the land of Oz. And here's our plot. The Wizard of Oz is a story about a little farm girl named Dorothy Gale and her pet dog, Toto. They are swept away in a Kansas cyclone and unexpectedly transported to the magical land of Oz. As her house lands, she and Toto begin to emerge. She opens the door to the amazing world of Technicolor. The house had smashed the Wicked Witch of the East underneath it. When the house landed on the Wicked Witch of the East, her ruby red slippers were magically transferred to Dorothy. And once the Wicked Witch of the West finds out her sister is dead, she sets out on a hunt to find the ones who killed her sister and stole her ruby red shoes. Desperate to find a way home again, Dorothy is told that she needs to find the all-powerful Wizard of Oz. He will know what to do. Her path lies before her as she follows the yellow brick road toward the Emerald City. En route, she meets a scarecrow, precariously hanging in a field. After she helps him get down, he shares with Dorothy that he needs a brain. Quote number one, Dorothy said, How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? The scarecrow replied, I don't know, but some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? Woodrow Wilson, the 27th president of the United States, is quoted as saying, I don't only use all the brains that I have, but all of the brains I can borrow. If we think before we speak, how different would our planet be? Thinking is an acronym. Think, T, is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? And K, is it kind? As they move along on their adventure together, not far down the road, they spy the tin man. Rusted and stopped, once he's freed by oil, he decides to go with them to the Emerald City to see the great wizard. He would like to get his missing heart. Quote number two, the tin man says, you people with hearts have something to guide you and need never do wrong. But I have no heart, so I must be very careful. William Hazlitt says, the seed of knowledge is in the head, the wisdom in the heart. As true students, we know, and in the revealing word, it is interpreted as, the heart is the center from which the divine substance is poured forth. Everyone uses his heart center when he sends forth a loving thought. We understand that life is led from the inside out with the heart at the center. So off they wander on the yellow brick road and before they reach Emerald City, they're scared by a lion. He's roaring at them and chasing them. And after Dorothy calls him bully, the lion explains he's a lion without courage they offer to take him with them to the Emerald City to see if he can find his courage there with the wizard. When they reach the Emerald City, they go in to see the wizard with fire going and smoke 
roaring in a loud voice with a very large pitcher in front of them tells them he will grant all of their requests if they only do one thing for him. They must bring him the broom from the Wicked Witch of the West. They set out off on their mission. Through turbulence and trials, they make it back. When their mission is completed, they realize they have been deceived because they find out the wizard was no wizard at all, just a man behind a curtain. As this man tries to grant the request, he tells the scarecrow, babies have brains, but it doesn't know much. Quote number three, experience is the only thing that brings knowledge. And the longer you are on the earth, the more experience you are sure to get. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And Charles Fillmore is quoted as a saying, God's greatest gift to man is the power of thought through which he can incorporate into his consciousness the mind of God. Fillmore goes on and he says, it is absolutely amazing what wonderful things can happen to those who keep their mental attitudes positive and creative, even in times of great trouble, especially in those times when we can open our minds in positive thought and creative optimism, thus realizing the divine potential for guidance, success, help, and miracle working powers. Then the wizard hands the scarecrow a diploma from a university. And all of a sudden, the scarecrow had a change of thought. And he was super smart. Next, the fake wizard addresses the cowardly lion and he says, Quote number four, You are under the unfortunate impression that just because you run away, you have no courage. You're confusing courage with wisdom. There is no living thing that is not afraid when it faces danger. True courage is in facing danger when you're afraid, and that kind of courage you have in plenty. In Keeping a True Lent with Charles Fillmore, he says, Be strong and of good courage, for thou shalt cause these people to inherit the land. To me, courage is the symbolic nature of stepping out in faith. Even when we are unsure of the outcome, we move our feet. Then the wizard pins a medal on the lion's chest as he lets out a roar. The great wizard tells the ten men that there are many men back home that do not have a heart as big as his. And he says what the ten men is missing is a testimonial. And he gives him watch that's shaped like a heart. And last, poor Dorothy wants to go home. The wizard has a thought. He arrived there in a hot air balloon. Maybe he could fly her home. On the day it came to leave, she was saying her goodbyes and the hot air balloon took off without her. She's unsure she will ever get home to see her family. And then Glinda, the good witch, reappears to say, Quote number five, you've always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. As Dorothy clicks her heels three times and says, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Unity has more books and sermons than I can put in this short clip on having the power inside. The 12 powers, lessons in truth, Virtually all Unity books talk about the power of our mind. One quote by Dr. Wayne Dyer is especially powerful to me, says, What we think determines what happens to us. So if we want to change our lives, we need to stretch our minds. And the story ends, Dorothy and Toto make it home, and she decides she will never Again, look anywhere else for her happiness. Thanks for joining us on yet another of our Saturday Cinema Movies through a metaphysical lens. We'll see you next week. Namaste.